Today we're gonna to talk about the ladder or hidden seam stitch. I'm gonna use bright red thread so it's easier to see the stitching. First step is to thread our needle. I prefer to keep my thread doubled and knot it with two th threads to give extra thickness and security. For this example, I have two pieces of fabric folded and pressed in half. To begin, we will go from the underneath side of the first fabric and come out the top. Then we will go from the top side of the second fabric, go down into it and come back out the top side. We then repeat this process back and forth. I personally prefer to pull each stitch tight before going on to the next one. I find this helps keep your stitches clean and straight. Where you come out from the one fabric, you wanna go back in directly across on the second fabric. This is going to ensure you don't have any holes. Using these small pieces of fabric, I was fighting with the thread a little bit, but when you use this same process on a stuffed animal, it is much easier. Here we have the Parker on the Porch Squishy Panda. He needs to be closed up on the bottom, so let's practice the same technique. I already have the needle threaded. Again, keeping two strands through the needle, we are going to double knot the two strands together to give us extra stability. These stuffies are usually loved on by little kids, so we definitely do not want our stitches coming out. When I start a stuffy, I go to one side and go from the underneath side and come out the top, pulling the thread almost to the knot and then taking my needle and going between the two threads so that it kind of creates a loop. This creates almost a secondary knot so that your thread does not pull through the minky. We then do the same stitch that I just showed you with two cotton fabrics. An added perk to these stuffies is the fur. Though it might not be the greatest to use on the sewing machine, it is very forgiving when it comes to hand sewing. Because of the longer nap of this minky on the back side, the stitches are hidden very well. So I'm going down through the black and coming back up the top, and then the same for the white, going down, across, and back out on the white. And I'm not pulling these super tight at the moment. Since the minky hides the stitches so well, I'm trying to keep it loose so that you can see, but when you pull it tight, you notice the stitches literally just vanish away. Continue this process all the way across the opening of your stuffy, being sure to go directly across each of your stitches so that you are not creating or leaving any holes. I like to do smaller stitches and more stitches just to be sure that I get the whole thing closed up well. Once I reach the other end of the hole, I do like to go back the opposite direction. This just reinsures that your stuffy's hole is thoroughly closed. I have sped this part up so that you can just see the process of going back across the opposite direction. When we get back to our starting place, we of course want to make sure we knot it off well. Once I have my stitches pulled tight and I'm ready to knot, I stick my needle through both the black and the white fabric. I then wrap my thread two or three times around the needle and then pull tight. I do this at least two times to ensure I have a nice knot at the end of all of my stitching. And here we have our Parker on the Porch Panda Squishy all closed up and ready to be loved on by our little kiddos. As I mentioned, this minky just hides the hand sewing so well. Thanks for tuning in.